Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Subhash Chandan with you. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the workable method for beginners in piping to get into piping design engineering. But before getting into the video, I just want you to remember one important thing all the time in your life. And the important thing is that unless you learn anything systematically, your growth is far from reach because learning has direct influence in your growth. And if you don't systemize your learning, then you cannot imagine about growing yourself as a person or as a professional. So with this, let's get into our topic. And today's topic is route map for beginners in piping to get into piping design engineering. Why do I call this as a route map? Because we have to understand the reality of industries. There is something known as assumptions and there is something known as reality. Most of the time we fail to understand the reality. That's when we used to spend a lot of time in unnecessary requirements. But once you understand the reality, you just have to focus on those reality requirements so that you will meet the requirement of industries. And the information that I'm going to share in this video is true to my knowledge and nothing more or nothing less is expected from the industries. And if you meet these requirements, you can get into piping design engineering field. So with this, let's start from the first step that you have to do. So the first step for any beginners or anybody who are interested in piping design engineering should do is you should understand the purpose of design. Why do we design? What is the requirement for this industry? See, this is a big process plants industries and the process plants are known for manufacturing chemicals and petrochemicals and various other byproducts. So the core value of piping design is to facilitate and build the infrastructure for piping so that this manufacturing can be enhanced and facilitated. So your ideal purpose of doing a design is that you are trying to build something which is useful for the manufacturing industries. And these manufacturing industries are known as oil and gas, petrochemicals, fertilizers, power plants and these things. So piping is the core part of these process plants. So as long as you have these process plants, you don't have to worry about anything. You, are, you will have opportunities, you will have scope for design. So you as a beginner to un need to understand what is the, uh, the purpose of your design? What is the purpose of your uh, like being a piping design engineering for this world? That you have to understand first actually. Because only then you will be able to relate yourself with this field. If you don't understand what you're doing and why you're doing and uh, it's completely useless, right? Say for an example, being an automobile engineer, if you don't know anything about what you're going to deliver and it's not uh, the, the, the right way of thinking, right? Being an automobile engineer, you should know about these vehicles, what you're going to produce and what is your role basically. So for that, you have to understand the intent of this particular role. So the intent of piping design engineering role is to facilitate and build the, the constructive infrastructures for any process plant requirements. So now let's get into the step two. The step two is we know the purpose of the design, but what is your role? You have to understand your role as a piping design engineer in this particular industry. What you're being expected to do it actually. You know that you're going to deliver this piping design and those things, but what is your role? Your role is to manage the design. You, your role is to get the inputs and uh, what do you call, deliver the outputs that are expected from clients. So your role is to design this entire thing from scratch. For that, you have to follow the standards, you have to follow the uh, some specifications, you have to uh, prepare drawings, you have to prepare a 3D model. There are lots of coordination activities that you have to do. So for that, you need to know what is your role is about actually. So if you do not know your role, you cannot uh, manifest yourself about who you are basically. So you understood the industrial process, you understood the, the purpose of the industries and the purpose of piping design, but you also have to understand your role because your role defines who you are. So as a second step, you guys have to understand your role. There are lots of materials available in the internet. Even if you um, uh, search in my uh, channels, there are lots of videos where I have explained what is the role of piping design engineers. That is more than sufficient for you to understand what who you are and what you have to do. It. 
So this is the second most important thing actually. And the third most important thing is that you have to understand the job criteria. See, you are preparing yourself as a piping design engineer. So you have to understand what is the job criteria as a beginner. If you are looking at the criteria which are um, uh, actually required for a 10 years and 15 years uh, experience, you will be completely confused actually. Being a piping uh, designer and being a, I mean being a beginner in piping, you have to understand what is the job criteria that are to be met for beginners. So this is very simple. If you just um, uh, browse in nowcree.com, you will find a lot of opportunities. Look at the opportunities which is only called for beginners and then you will be able to understand the job criteria. So job criteria will be uh, uh, saying so that you will have to have an, a basic uh, engineering qualification and some 2D softwares and piping basics. Those things you have to understand. In the next topic, I will list down what you have to prepare actually. So it, this job criteria, it varies companies to companies in a very uh, minor fraction, but predominantly the job criteria are going to be same. So as a third step, your duty is to check your job criteria for that Naukri can help you by browsing in Naukri, spending some time and going through multiple job positions, you will be able to understand your job criteria. So these are the things that you have to do it actually. Simply just when uh, somebody has suggested piping, you don't go and take up any course, don't take up any job. I mean, uh, don't uh, choose your field. You have to understand this purpose. Only if you understand the industries and your role and your job criteria and you will be able to feel that whether it suits you or not. Most of the people, uh, they choose piping design engineering just, be just because that they feel that it is easy to get into piping design engineering. That's not so. It may be easy to get into piping design engineering, but survival is the key factor for you, right? If you're not able to survive for a longer period of time uh, by losing an interest, then it's a waste of time because your beginning years in your career is the golden time. Don't waste that time. That uh, I mean, uh, I can only say that much actually. Be uh, fruitful in using those times so that you can constructively grow from the day one actually. So that's very important. So now let's get into the basic requirements. The What you have to prepare basically. We have seen you have to understand the purpose of the your design and then you have to understand your responsibilities then you have to understand the job criteria now the fourth step is to understand the preparation what you have to prepare so that's the key factor that will help you to get a job the first thing for any beginners to uh, prepare yourself as a piping design engineer is that try to get some certification in piping design course with this let me just uh, confirm you that do not spend more than 10 15 thousands of I mean it could be uh, it should not be more than 25,000 rupees because the certification is very important certification will tell you that you have con taken up a course and you know uh, the basics of a piping design that's the only requirement I know there are people spending one and a half lakhs two lakhs to get this certification but let me tell you this certification will not have any value after two to three years once you get into this field so this is exclusively for piping uh, design engineers who are as a beginner. For experience, these certifications are not going to do anything actually. Whatever certificates that I have, it's no use. So do not spend the higher value. Just spend um, not more than 25,000 and take a reasonable uh, the theory classes so that you will be able to understand the workflow process of the piping design. So certification is must. So I would strongly prefer to take certification from any of your nearby uh, institutes so that you can conveniently travel. Don't take it from the, the other cities and spend a lot of time uh, money in accommodations and travelings and all. Try to get a certification because certification is just for a namesake so that you can produce during an interview. That will show tell the interviewer that you have done some basic work in piping. So that's the importance of the certification. This is first one. And the second requirement is that self-study you have to do. So what is the self-study you have to do? First thing, try to learn each and everything about pipes and fitting details. There are different types of pipes are available, different types of fittings are available. You have to thoroughly, you have to buy heart all these things. 
there are what is the standard what is the dimensional uh, standard what are the different types of what, what is the purpose where we are using all these informations are available in the internet you don't have to spend any money for that it's completely free of materials which are available even in my channel i have explained about pipes and fittings and in the standards and everything actually but you have to know this information pipes and fittings clearly you have to clearly i have to aware about each of these categories with what is the standards of fittings what are the dimensional standards what are the difference these things you have to aware so just the basics you have to aware as a beginner nobody will question you about the depth of standards or depth of your design requirements as a beginner only you we are uh, expecting you to have this knowledge right now the third important thing is that pnid reading is must you have to learn how to read the pnid as a beginner this thing you it is very must for you actually again once again there are lots of uh, materials available even in my channel it is available i can even give you a link about that particular videos in the, the description box but the vital key factor message that i wanted to share is that don't skip the pnid reading pnid reading is the must for beginners in piping so you have taken a certification then you have uh, read about pipes and fittings and then you have read about pnid now the fourth thing is that you have to understand pipe routing and pipe support which is the key role for any piping design engineers if you do not know pipe routing and pipe supporting placement then you cannot consider yourself as a piping design engineer even uh, i have two wonderful courses you can check those details of the courses in my website which is a pemidaka.com the link i'll give you in the description of this video these courses will help you to uh, develop the skills that are required for pipe routing and pipe support placements which are actually needed for a real time job this is not just a theory in this course i have explained the logics concepts and how to take decisions what are the engineering specifications what is the minimum requirement that you have to meet for these uh, routings and supports so these courses will help you to develop these two skills pipe routing and pipe supporting and the next requirement that you have to have is that 2d and 3d tools there are uh, 2d tools and there are 3d tools i have also made a video of these 2d and 3d tools i'll share you the link of this but 2d and 3d tool requirements is a must for beginners so these are the five set of preparation that you have to do as a preparation basically because these are technical areas but you have to be really strong in these five areas that i have uh, told you just now actually and the last stage and the last stage is what you have to deliver as a piping design engineer that you have to understand right because you are a piping design engineer and you want to understand what you have to deliver you know the industries and you have prepared and everything things but what you have to deliver that you have to understand you have to deliver the drawings such as plot plan piping layout isometrics empty woods pipe supports these are the basic requirements deliverables that you have to submit engineering packages and bulk mtus and uh, the isowise mtus and fabrication isometrics there are n number of deliverables are there that you have to understand so let me tell you the few important things that you have to understand one is plot plan another one is piping layout and piping uh, isometrics then pipe support drawings then bill of materials just focus on these five important areas first as a beginner Th that is enough for a beginners to uh, get prepared for any job because as a beginner industry knows that they cannot expect you uh, like they can expect from the experienced person so these are the key important things that you have to learn if you learn these key important things then you will be qualified to get into a job don't waste in uh, some areas which is completely not useful to you one of the advice that i would uh, share uh, with you is that and you can start reading books even i will i can share those uh, must read books that i have already made a video on that actually so that will give you an idea about what books that you have to read in order to gain the uh, knowledge reading inputs that you have to keep it as a side actually because that uh, should be a part of your daily life so you have to spend at least half an hour to one hour if you can spend more than two hours then it's really wonderful because you will be able to gather more knowledge but whatever stages that i have say, said in this video are vital for anybody to become a piping design engineer remember that the first couple of steps that i have told you may look generic but that's not generic that is where you observe yourself as a piping design engineer 
because most of the people just get into this field without knowing what they have to do unless you do not know what you have to do then you cannot survive in this industries so this industry is purely a technical industry to become a technical uh, expert you have to well prepare yourself in order to um, meet these technical requirements so i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra